So for breakfast today, I am gonna have uh, some hash browns. So I w measured out three ounces of these, which is two smart points. So I have that in here. I have a couple of eggs. I have some avocado that I weighed out. So this was 42 grams, so that's two smart points, I believe. I will have, of course, all the points on the screen. So I'm just going to cook this up a little bit and then I will cook the eggs separately and just pile it all on and that'll be my breakfast. I'll show you what it looks like when I'm all done. Okay, so breakfast is all ready. So I have three ounces of those shredded potatoes for two points, two eggs for zero, two points worth of avocado. It's 42 grams, which is two points, and a banana. So this will be my breakfast. I'm actually gonna have to pack that up to go because I have to go into work early today. So for lunch today, I have a chicken salad sandwich. So I made this chicken salad yesterday in meal prep, so you can see how I made that. I will have my meal prep video linked down below. I have two slices of the butter bread from Nature's Own, which is three smart points for two slices. I have one serving, actually it's more like a half of a serving of the chicken salad, but I'll just still count it as one smart point. So one smart point for that, so four for my sandwich. I have two pickles for zero, hard boiled egg for zero, and I have this Dan and Light and Fit Greek yogurt for two smart points. So my lunch will be so three four six smart points and then i have some um, snacks here so i have some carrots and some celery and then some of the homemade skinny kitchen ranch for one smart point and then oranges for zero so i will have of course my whole total for my day across the screen and then I have my one smart point cup of coffee with fat free half and half in it. So you kind of what this week's looks like. If you guys want to see every week kind of what my, how I use my planner, I use it a little bit different every week. But if you want to see that every week in my what I ate videos, just let me know. Um, so anyway, I just mainly use it for my YouTube stuff. And so I know what I need to film and what I need to post. And then I always put on here what I'm having for dinner because that kind of helps me know ahead of time if I need to pull anything out. Like I know I'm having beef and broccoli tomorrow. So I went ahead and pulled out the steak that I would need for that out of the freezer this morning. That way I had plenty of time to thaw out. So that way I kind of know and like the grilled chicken, I'll, know I'll pull that out of the freezer. So anyway, but like I said, I mostly use it for, um, when I'm posting, but I did get the sticker book, which is this right here. So there's a ton of stickers. So I just kind of decorated a little bit like I have on their smile. Since it's Monday, powered by coffee. And then Fridays are my days I try to treat myself with a Starbucks when I can get there or Dutch Brothers. It also has to be payday. Um, actually, payday's right here. I missed it. <laughs> I put it on the wrong one. Anyway, um, so here, yes, I do use my planner. And then over here, I do use like this week, my main goal is gonna be tracking and working out five times. And I do have my workout ready. So I just put a little workout thing here. And then this is my workout. I, did, I have to go to work early today, so I don't have time to do it before I leave. But, um, and I work late tonight, but I will still do the my workout when I get home from work or after dinner, probably before dinner. So anyway, I just have my whole workout scheduled there over here for like the habit tracker. I, my aim is to drink four of my things a day. So I just went ahead and just numbered it one through four, I have hydrate, so then I just mark it off when I drink all four of them. Workout, track, and then I just haven't done anything on this. Like I'm not really sure if I really have anything to do, but normally here I would put like if I needed to leave at lunchtime to go run any errands, but I'm trying not to do that. So this really would just be like, if there is a prescription I need to pick up or just something I have to do. Oh, I do need to do something. So. Um, I have to mail my son's transcript off <laughs> up to college. But anyway, um, so I will write that on there. So that's the kind of things I put on there. So anyway, yes, and I know quite a few of you have gotten this track, uh, this planner. So let me know how you guys are liking it. Hi guys, so for dinner tonight, I'm having a pork chop slow cooker casserole. I'm throwing this in my slow cooker before I'm heading out to work, so I th thought I would share this recipe with you. Now the original recipe does call for sweet potatoes. I am using regular potatoes. My family would not like the sweet potatoes in this recipe. If I was making this just for myself for lunch, I would do the sweet potatoes. I will have the original recipe linked down below as usual. So first off, of course, you need some pork chops. So these are just some bone boneless um, top loin chops. So I'm gonna cut the fat off of that and then put those in the slow cooker. The other things that go in there, so I have about three medium-sized apples. So I have that, 
have some Yukon gold potatoes. So there's three apples and I did about six of the potatoes because they were just really pretty small potatoes. I also need to grab some carrots out of the refrigerator. So carrots will go in there as well. And then for the sauce that you put on top, you need a cup of apple juice. So this is just pure apple juice. And then you need a um, like one of those Lipton, Lipton soup onion mixes, which luckily I had one. I forgot to buy it this weekend, but I had one in there. And you need a cup of broth. So this is just my homemade broth that I keep in my freezer. So I just have a cup of that. So let me show you what it looks like when you get it all into the slow cooker. Oh, and also the carrots are not part of the original recipe. I just wanted to add them in there because I thought that sounded like a good addition and just add more veggies. So in the bottom of the pan or the slow cooker, I just went ahead and put the potatoes, the apples and the carrots. So those are in there. So now to, for the sauce, it's just gonna be this packet, the apple juice and the broth. Okay, so the next layer are the pork chops. I just put those right on top and my sauce is all ready. So I'm just going to pour that all on top of there. There we go. And it didn't call for any other kind of seasoning, but this stuff would definitely be salty enough. And now you just put it in there for six to eight hours on low, and I will show you guys what it looks like when it's all done. Okay, it also called for a tablespoon of minced garlic, so I'm gonna go ahead and put that in there on top. So here is what the pork chop casserole looked like when it was all done, and let's pause a moment and talk about this. I did not like it at all. The entire family did not like it. The pork chops were dry. The apples completely disintegrated, which you saw, they weren't, I did not slice them thinly. I just used my apple core and it, so they were nice big chunks, disintegrated, gone. The gravy tasted funky. I mean, I don't know, just the apple juice with the garlic and the onion soup mix not good and i think even if i had used sweet potatoes the way that the recipe called for it still would not have been good it was just not a good recipe um just the potatoes tasted weird because of that weird sauce it was just terrible do not recommend it i hate wasting food but this went out the door i mean it was so bad not out the door it went into the trash but anyway um i my family's were troop my family was a trooper tried it was not good. I did not eat it. It was 10 smart points. I still just counted it because I ended up just eating a yogurt and that was it for the rest of the night. But I, you know, I did try like half the pork chop, but it was just terrible. I, I don't know, just not a good recipe. So don't recommend this recipe, but I wanted to share it with you anyway, because I do share my meal plan, but I just wanted to let you guys know, probably don't try this recipe unless you think of some tweaks that you can do to it to make it better. Hi, so happy Tuesday morning. Um, I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna pack up for lunch and what I'm having for breakfast. I'm not too hungry. I actually just got done working out, so I have to go finish getting ready. Um, so I'm not feeling very hungry right now. Um, so I'm just gonna, I'm just having my coffee right here. This has two tablespoons of the Coffee Mate sugar-free vanilla creamer. So that's one smart point. I have one of these triple zero orange cream yogurts for three and a banana for zero. So that'll be my breakfast. As far as lunch, this is what I meal prepped on Sunday. One of the meal preps, this is the chicken fajitas. It's the sheet pan fajitas. This is one smart point because of the avocado oil that I used to cook it in. And then I'm going to weigh out, I have a scale at work. I'm gonna weigh out two points worth of this, so like 44 grams. Um, half of this was 44 grams yesterday, so I'm guessing pretty much all of this will be that. And then I have some tortillas here. These are the extra thin, yellow corn tortillas. You can have two of them for two points or three of them for four points. So I just have two of them in here, which should be plenty. So my lunch today is gonna be one, two, three, four, five smart points. And then I have my um, Skinny Kitchen Ranch for one point with my vegetables. I have an orange still at work, my orange from yesterday. I didn't eat it. I also have a yogurt at work. I didn't eat the yogurt yesterday either. So I have that at work too if I need to have anything else. So this is what I'm gonna start my day with. So for dinner tonight, I had a beef and broccoli. I did record this video for you and I posted it this week. So I will link it down below. And this is seven smart points. Morning, so happy Wednesday for breakfast today. I'm having some oatmeal. So I just have some of these quick oats. I um, will have to put the points here on the screen. I did a half a cup of quick oats. 
I did a cup of unsweetened cashew milk, so I know that's one point. I have a banana in there for zero. I'm gonna put some cinnamon, and I'm also going to add some coconut extract, and I'll show you what it looks like when it's all done. Okay, so here is the final breakfast. So it is four points for the oats, one point for the cashew milk, so that is five smart points for this breakfast. And then I have a cup of coffee here with two tablespoons of fat-free half and half for one smart point. Okay, so for my lunch today, I am packing up some of the chicken salad that I meal prepped. So this is one smart point, pickle is zero. I'll just eat it like this. And then I have a side salad here with a hard-boiled egg for zero, spring mix, I have some spinach, and I have some of these Parmesan cheese crisps. So I have two points worth of those on there. I have three tablespoons of the Skinny Ranch dressing for two smart points. So my lunch today is two, four, five smart points. Then for snacks, I'm bringing an unsweetened applesauce for zero, for the creme brulee Greek yogurt for two, and then I have some vegetables with some more ranch for one smart point. This is a new food find for me. I don't know if any of you have ever seen these, but I've never seen these in my store before. I actually found these at... I think grocery outlet. Um, anyway, they're four smart points, so that's one smart point more than my favorite English muffins, which actually are just like the Fred Meyer brand ones, which are three smart points, um, or just the regular Franz ones. Anyway, so these are only one more smart point, which is not too bad considering that most of the things that I can pair this with will be zero. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna make myself a breakfast sandwich. I think I will. I think I've had these in the freezer, so I think I'm just going to throw one in my toaster, make up some eggs, do a slice of ham. Um, I also have some fat-free cheese that I can use. So yeah, I think I might make myself a little breakfast sandwich, and I'll show you what that looks like when it's all done. My coffee is done. I desperately need my coffee today. Did not have a good night, so I will talk about that here in a little bit. Okay, so coffee number one. Before I start my breakfast, I have two tablespoons of this Coffee Mate for one smart point. Okay, so here is my finished breakfast sandwich. I'm so excited for this. I don't know why. I think just because I haven't had one in a while. So I have four points for the English muffin. Um, there's an egg on there for zero. You can kind of see there's one piece of 99 or 98 percent fat-free ham at zero for one piece, and then I have a fat-free cheese slice. These are the ones from Fred Meyer. It's the Kroger brand, um, so that is one smart point for that. It's going to be a mess, but it's going to be yummy. And then I have a banana. So this is a five smart point breakfast. So for lunch today, I have the last of my chicken feed. As you guys, this turned out so, so good. I don't know what it was this time, but it just came out super good. And it actually, um, the other day when I had it with the tortillas, I actually ended up eating most of it without it. It just really doesn't need it. And I thought, oh, maybe I'll put it on a salad today, but I'm gonna have a chicken salad for dinner tonight. And so I thought, no, you know what? I'm just gonna eat it just like this. It is so, super good. Um, also, I have one of these triple zero Oikos yogurts for three smart points, so I think that'll be enough for lunch. And then I didn't eat my applesauce yesterday, so I'm just going to bring it again today. And I've been really enjoying my ranch and vegetables too every day. So this is one point for the Skinny Kitchen Ranch. So this is what I'm bringing to work. I think just so I have something else in case I'm hungry, I'm going to go ahead and bring one of these peanut butter RX bars, I believe. This is seven or eight smart points. Also, I just wanted to let you guys know since today's the last day of January, wow, where did the month go? That in February, I'm gonna be doing a round of the 30 day detox from Teamy. Um, I know you guys probably all know what it is because I talk about it a lot. I've been drinking Teamy for the last two years. Yeah, and I love it and I like to do a detox every few months, so I got mine in. So I have the Teamy Skinny and the Teamy Colon. So the Skinny you drink every day, um, and you can, I love their tea so much. One of the reasons why I love their tea so much is because you can drink it up to like three times and you still have the same strength that it was the first time. Love it, and you don't need any sweetener. I have all their teas, so if you guys want to know anything about any of their teas at all, if you can go on their website, and I will link their website down below, but if you go on their website and there's anything that you want to know about any of their teas, let me know and I'll let you know what I think about them. And then the Timmy Colon you drink every other day. 
so um, anyway I'm gonna be doing that starting tomorrow so I just wanted to let you guys know about that since I'm not gonna talk to you guys again about what I'm eating and drinking and all that until next week and also I'll have a discount code down below as well where you can save 15% off and also they have ton of sales so anytime they have sales I do share those on my Instagram so make sure you're following me on Instagram as well guys so I have my coffee I'm gonna take to work I have three tablespoons of this for one square plate so I'm just gonna put my lid on and head out to work and I went ahead and started the teamy skinny today I just felt like having some so I have my water my teamy skinny and my coffee and oh my gosh it's all pink had no idea and I'm wearing a pink sweater Ah, color coordinated for dinner tonight i'm having some grilled chicken that i put in the air fryer this is th with the mesquite marinade i'm also going to have some skinny kitchen ranch to dip that in also have a side of broccoli so dinner tonight will be two points one for the marinade and one for the ranch dressing so thank you so much for watching another what i ate video this week and i'll see you in the next one bye guys